Music is everywhere, and it's in everything, <laughs> just as this song says, by Grammy-winning reggae artist Ziggy Marley. And that, by the way, is the name of his new children's book, too. It's called Music is in Everything. Yeah. Ziggy, it is so good to see you. Um, yeah. By the way, what a perfect, perfect title, too, because it really is. I think when it comes to kids, we think music might have to be this way or that way, but it really is everywhere. You know, music is, I mean, the, the, a child in a mother's womb hears the heartbeat. Mm -hmm. It's music here, her, his or her mother's heartbeat. That's music. So all oh. the sounds we hear, you know, that's how I see it. My, because of my imagination, really. I, see, I hear music in everything. Yeah, yeah, don't you love that? I, when, I heard that this was inspired by you listening mm -hmm. to crickets and uh -huh. nature outside of your window yeah, when you, you know, were little. In Jamaica, I mean, I mean, we live amongst nature. Um, we go to the beach. Um, we live in, 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 the, in the, um, the hills, and you hear all type of sounds, and... We just hear music. We hear music in everything, you know? Mm, that's beautiful. Well, you had, you had uh, you know, had lots of siblings. Of course, your dad, famously, Bob Marley. Yeah. Do you have a lot of memories of your family together singing, you with your father? Yeah, I mean, we used to hang out with, with my father in the studio and in rehearsals a lot, me and my brother. Um, so um, I used to sleep under the, the desk, where the engineering desk. And so mm. those are memories that will never leave me, you know, really. You know, it's funny when it comes to music because sometimes we follow, or our parents really, sometimes we follow in their footsteps because we think it's cool. And sometimes we go, I don't think <laughs> yeah. so, Dad. And we take a total left true, turn. True. Were you always going to be on this path, on this musical path? No, I wanted to be a doctor. Oh, really? You wanted yeah, to be a doctor? In high school. Yeah, I wanted to be a doctor. Um, so when I, when I first went to high school, I chose to do biology. Mm-hmm. But I want, you know, it wasn't hands-on enough for me. It was a lot of book reading. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, not that. You know, so I, I like to learn by doing. Um, uh -huh. So, yeah, that never worked out. <laughs> wow. And now you have seven kids. Yes. Are you, what's your house like? We're about to hit the holidays. Mm -hmm. are, you, are you constantly listening to music? Do you... Yeah, music, yeah, music is everywhere, every day. Um, my kids introduce me to new songs and all type of things. Music is just... It's always there. It's always happening. I'm playing it. They're playing it. It's always happening. How mm -hmm. cool. Was your, um, was your father able to see you perform? Did he see just exactly what your musical abilities were? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he wrote the first song we ever did, mm -hmm. 1979, a song called Children Playing in the Streets. Mm. So he wrote that. He played on it. And the first concert we did with me, my brother, and my sisters was a concert that he was also on. Mm. So he saw us, yeah, he knew, yeah. Did you, how did you know he was proud of you? Well, I mean, my father, him, he would always, like, want us around him, you know? So I think mm -hmm. for him, having us around him to experience and learn from him, I think that was how I, I knew that he was, you know, he's, he's proud of us and even now, the spirit. Mm. I can feel that spirit, you know, that, mm. that, yeah, he's, he's happy with who we are and how we are. You mm. feel his spirit even now. Yeah, yeah, man. How, how do you feel closest to him mm -hmm. now? Well, I mean, it's, it's a hard thing to explain because it's not something that can be proven scientifically. Mm -hmm. you know? The doctor always in you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's a very spiritual thing. It's a very personal thing, and I mean... It's just something that I feel. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. something just I feel. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. I love that. Well, you love so many things. You are a big World Cup fan, are you? Yeah. Are you totally yeah, into it? Yeah, is it going it? crazy yes, right totally, now? Totally. Oh, my God. I'm so, I'm so happy that um, the, the U.S. team did so well. We tied. The first game, I mean. I know. Who do you think is going to take it? I'm originally a Brazilian fan. So yeah. So um, I love Brazilian football, but I'm rooting for the U.S. though because I want soccer to be big in, yeah. in America. Did, you, did yeah. your love of soccer come from your dad? There are obviously those very famous, iconic images of your dad. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, that's, we grew up playing soccer with yeah. him, um, and soccer is a big deal in Jamaica, so yeah. definitely, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I think we got a soccer ball oh, here. Oh, there you are. Where you you want to show us a move or two? There you go. <laughs> oh, no. Here. Yeah, but oh, not yeah, to then... put you on the spot. Uh -huh. oh, what? Uh -huh. A header? Uh -huh. Amazing. Uh, in first grade. <laughs> this book, Ziggy, is full of appreciation for the yeah, beautiful, man. simple things in life. And I feel like with Thanksgiving coming up, it's the perfect yeah, book to go into the, the weekend. The illustrations are gorgeous. The message is clear. Yeah. And it's I think it'll just lift up all kinds of kids. It's yeah. something all the kids should get. Ziggy Marley's music is in everything. Illustrated uh -huh. by Ag...
Zadkowska. Zadkowska. Yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure that one gets it down. Yeah, so too. go to today.com slash books or wherever you buy your books. It's a great, great Thank gift. Thank you, Ziggy. Thank you so much, Bobby. Thank you, Ziggy. Thank you, Ziggy. Thank you guys. Thank you.